Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Fioletta, Associate Editor of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here today with Roseanne McCauley, VP of Americas for Experian Football. Roseanne, thanks so much for taking the time out. Thank you, Alicia, for having me. I'm very pleased to be here today. Thank you. Well, Roseanne, I know um, your position at Experian Football is relatively new, so um, when did this new opportunity come about for you, and what will you be doing in this position? Thank you. I've been here about six months now, and Footfall is a very big brand for our European clients as well as our Asia Pacific clients and we were bought by Experian and so what we're trying to do is leverage the Experian brand and all of the success that we've had in other markets and bring it here to the Americas. So US is absolutely the focus for us right now and we've just built our sales team. We've added pre-sale resources, we've added implementation resources and we're also now going to the South American markets as well as the Canadian markets. Excellent. Um, so obviously you're really in the trenches of all the trends that are happening now in the retail space. Um, Experian Football is catered to retailers. So um, can you share a little bit about what you're seeing right now in the space in terms of trends and what you think retailers are really embracing or paying attention to? So some of the trends we're seeing from retailers is about mobile. So mm -hmm. you see mobile point of sale devices. You see some department stores are trying that out right now. You're seeing the ability to buy on a mobile device. So people want to buy from their iPhones, they want to buy from their Android phones. Mm -hmm. And then you see retailers looking at their footprint. So their brick and mortar footprint, is it too big or is it too small? So I think th so those are some of the major things that we're seeing out there. Yeah, absolutely. Mo mobile's definitely a huge topic. I mean, at Retail Touch Points alone, we, we've been covering consistently, whether it's testing or retailers completely rolling it out. So that's definitely something that people are really keeping an eye on. Um, but, you know, you know, data is a really big part of, you know, creating a better customer experience, regardless of the channel that's being used. So um, why don't you tell me a little bit about, you know, what Experian Football provides in terms of solutions and, you know, how you guys can help retailers better tap that data and those analytics and really help them make better decisions. That's great. Thank you. That's our absolute sweet spot. So thank you for asking me that. So what Experian Footfall does is we help retailers improve store performance. Mm -hmm. And we integrate data from a variety of sources, from their point of sale system, from their workforce system, from KPIs that they mm -hmm. may have uh, as a company, from Experian data such as Mosaic, from traffic data which we can get from a third party or we can install cameras ourselves and count the traffic in the store. We put it together and we create a dashboard for that retailer so they can see the performance at their store across their region or across their entire global universe. Wow, that's excellent. And, you know, being able to get all of that information in, in the palm of their hands is definitely becoming more and more paramount to retailers today. Yeah, absolutely. And our solution is real-time. So we have a cloud-based real-time solution. It works in multiple languages. And so when you have a global retailer, they can buy this solution once. They can deploy it globally, and it rolls up seamlessly. But the manager in the local country sees it in the language of their country. Right, that's excellent. And I know Charlotte Roos is a... Um, a retailer that's been utilizing solutions from Experian Football. So can you share a little bit about the success that Charlotte Russe has seen and how that whole relationship is working? That's great. Well, thank you. Charlotte Russe is one of our oldest and most favorite football customers here in the U.S. So thank you for asking. We started with them when they were a little bit smaller of a chain. Mm -hmm. And they originally engaged us for a pilot for merchandising. So they wanted to change merchandising in their store and they wanted to understand traffic vis-a-vis -vis the merchandising. And what they found was that they could do a lot with that traffic information. And as we were growing our product line, they were growing their thoughts and what they mm -hmm. wanted to do as well. And so we evolved with them, and now we provide a full-service solution to them for all 500 stores. Oh, that's excellent. And, you know, what, what solutions did they specifically adopt uh, throughout this entire process? And can you share a little bit about, um, you know, the success of this partnership? Okay, that's great. So Charlotte Roos has all of our solutions. Mm -hmm. They just have migrated over to our new cloud-based platform. And why they did that was they actually had a data center that they were moving. And mm -hmm. so they were able to reduce costs on their side and increase their performance of what they could get from Experian Footfall all in one fell swoop. So they were our first customer in the U.S. to migrate over to Site Analytics, and they have their dashboards that they can use at the store, as well as their region, as well as corporate. So all the information is rolled up for them. Uh, I think it's three or five times a day. And then they get a file that they do other things with as well on their premise. So for Charlotte Roos, we provided uh, all of the software, all of the analytic reporting, all of the metrics, and then we also provided all of the hardware. So we have a project management arm 
where we buy best in breed hardware, we install it in the stores, test it, validate it, and then we bring all that data together for them in that analytic engine. No, that's great. And you really hit on two key points, which is, you know, retailers are striving to decrease costs, but also improve those efficiencies and really, you know, maximize uh, the profit that they can get. So, yes. Um, Absolutely. And, you know, and with that in mind, what, what are the key takeaways from the Charlotte Roos case study in terms of, you know, what retailers can learn from them? So I know that Charlotte Roos found great benefit in optimizing their labor to traffic. Mm -hmm. And so that was uh, really a key performance indicator for them. I know that through the, uh, the implementation of that solution, it was key that we had business stakeholders, as well as IT stakeholders, as well as people from Footfall, all engaged in really helping them understand what they were getting from an information standpoint, right. what they could be getting, and really helping them work through that um, for their business so that they could make good decisions for them. Well, obviously, you know, Charlotte Roos has seen a lot of success, and I'm sure there are so many other retail uh, case studies and success stories that uh, we'll be hearing about in the near future. But in terms of experience football, what can we expect from you guys in the near future in terms of you know, new developments or product releases? Great. Well, that is an excellent question. Thank you so much for asking that. We are very excited because we have new releases coming out for site analytics this year. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing forecasting. We are currently doing queuing, and we are integrating it into our site analytics platform right now. We're doing labor optimization, and we are doing workforce integration. So we will be full service to help retailers improve their store performance. Oh, that's excellent, Roseanne. Well, it'll be really exciting to see um, you know, all the solutions come to the forefront and see what uh, other success stories come to fruition as Thank a result you. of them. So, Roseanne, it was a real pleasure to get to uh, catch up with you and learn a little bit more about the Charlotte Roos success story and you know, a little bit more about what Experian Football does. So thank you so much for taking the time out to join us today, and thanks everyone out there for watching. Thank you.